Welcome back to another Trucker Tim video. You find me at Trucker Tim HQ. Mrs. Trucker Tim is here filling out some paperwork. Yeah. Aren't you, dear? Lorry license. Lorry license. I have MS. And has it. it's classed as a neurological condition in the medical examination form. So, so I need to do slightly more of an extensive medical, I think. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully yeah. you get it. Because yeah. I can take you out with L's on. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Just the unit though to start no, with. No, and the trailer. You're gonna go all in. We go straight in at the deep end. You've driven it with a trailer on at the yeah, yeah, well, I hit a lot of tyres, so let's just go unit. Yeah, you did, and they could be pedestrians, let's be honest. Yeah. So the forms you need to fill out for your HCV provisional is a D2 and a D4. You can get them from the post office, and I think you, have, you can apply for them online, which we did. Yep. So we're going to fill them out. Yeah. Send them off, and hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll get your provisional. And you've just had a delivery for your truck. Yay! Let's have a look, see what's in here then. This is for your truck. This. New steps. Ah. Look at them. Bison special. So nice. That's your new bottom step for that one. Because you've got a big crack down there. Yeah, I have, yeah. These go behind your lights. Okay, yeah. These are your new steps. I'm not going to fit these till. We don't break them first. I'm not going to fit them till another video coming up. Because I've got plenty to be getting on with at the lorry. Please don't do that to my chair. Right, you can you go get started on my truck then, dear? Do you like my Wembley seats? No. Well, not there, I don't. Right. I'm having a sofa and a plant there, with all that oh, rubbish God, has been removed. Oh, a sofa? Zwarge and a plant. Oh, says Zwarge. Yeah. Make it feng shui. 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 That. Leave, you meant to be doing my lorry. I suppose I'm going to make a start then, dear. Yeah, you had. Are you going to pack some merch then? Eh? Yeah. See you later. Link in the description for the merch store. Keep Mr. Truck Tim busy. I'm going to go plant shopping. Tim, what are you doing? What are you doing, Tim? Work has started on the Volvo, and I need a grinder already. We have a good selection of parts. Look at that, look. Look, look at that lot. All, all genuine. From, yeah, all genuine. What we, well, these plastics aren't genuine. Let me show you what happens when you buy pattern parts. What's this? We have a uh -oh. bit of an overlap issue. <laughs> oh, look at that fitment. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. I think we're going to have to go to Volvo. No good, Josh. No good whatsoever, is it? So I just had to cut that bolt down there because when I put my inner spray suppression in, it wasn't fitting flush because that bolt was come out here, you see? Look. Oh, look. Look at them. Genuine parts. Genuine parts. But yeah, that, that's how that look goes. At that, Josh, look, look at that. Look at that. Flash. Very nice, that. It's going to look fast, even though you're probably not going to see any of that with my big bumper you're building me <laughs> and my big beefy flap. Got this one made up. This one is fully assembled. We've got all the brackets in, done that one, got the spray suppression in. That is looking loads better. We can start now assembling this side. So with these, you post the metal bracket through, just sits in there, and then that goes behind it. There we go. Put that through. To about there and then you get the other part of the bracket that clips up in there folds down and then you put your bolt through then before you tighten them up you just got to make sure they're where you want them so nice and straight you've got to cut this bolt down here because it should be like that bad to replace the bolt on here because the other one was rusted in if i don't chop that off the spray suppression won't sit flush and it'll have a little lump in it so we cut that off now So we now need to take off these front ones because we've got new ones of these as well and new brackets. This has actually come off relatively nicely. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Another one off. We need to remove those brackets. We need those. What are you doing now? Building up these wings next to my outboard motor. Oh, very nice. Two. Brand new. Suzuki. Suzuki, is it? Suzuki. <laughs> if this is soft, you see, it won't scratch me wings. Oh, definitely, yeah, you don't want to scratch them. I wonder how many people have fitted up Volvo wings next to an outboard motor. You could 
You could be the first. I could be. I think <laughs> you I could be I the think first. I think yeah. I might be. So you get these little Doing things. There. Oh yeah. yes, yeah. Starts in there. Look. All new fittings. Look. That is Volvo meets Bison. In my order, I got these little blanking plates that we needed, which fit in there. I think like quite quite fit. That's in. Look. That's solid. Also got some indicators somewhere. We've also got a few new bits of bracketry. We've got a new one of them because that is, that's done for. New one of these with this bit as well. So we'll do that now. I love it when stuff comes undone nicely. Ah, it hit me here. Oh, that's that bit off. As you see, that bracket is absolutely, and that bit, Yes. Now that has surprised me how easy they've come out of there. I love replacing old rusty stuff for brand new stuff. Oh, look at that. Yes. That is bad. What's happened there? Uh oh. Corrosion. I've got some new bits over here, luckily. Look at that. So we've got that loosely in place now. I'm gonna put some new nuts on there. I now need to remove this bracket, but as you can see, the exhaust goes straight through the middle of it. It's going to be interesting to see what this sounds like without an exhaust on. All right, how do I get that off though? That must have gone on in this after. Hmm. What are you doing? Well, Josh, we have a side predicament. This exhaust goes through the bracket. I can't get the no. bracket off. It'll probably come out of there into the stacks or something. Yeah, yeah. Sound better then, won't it? Yeah, it'll sound good in a minute when we start it up. Stay tuned. <laughs> I was hitting it with a hammer and knocked the trumpet. Oh well. no, damn it. Is this how you used to do it at the No. <laughs> Re sips or. Yes! I wonder how much one of them is. <laughs> I don't know. This is going to sound good or? I don't know. Give it a go. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! You hear that whistle? <laughs> So we're back with the Volvo and this morning it's got a flat battery and apparently this little thing here is going to jump start my truck. Never seen such a small jump pack for a truck. 24 volt jump start ready. If this works I'm buying one of them. Whee! Well that is an awesome bit of kit that is. Right let's take it back round to the workshop. <laughs> I like it. Definitely having an exhaust on this. Stacks weren't going to be plumbed up, but they are now. Got them Very on, Josh. nice. Brand new Volvo genuine rock. Genuine. So I'm now just about to fit the new spray depression. Very nice. Yeah, how does it like that? It's literally. Oh, look, look, look. And all you do. I think, Josh, but I'd like to take the tanks off today. You want to take your tanks off today? Yeah. Four of them, that, job done, she's on. Job done. She's on there now. Warmer today than it was yesterday. It, it is, isn't it? I've actually That's done the other lovely, one, yeah. one I made earlier. Look at that. Look. The shine on it as well. Yeah. New, uh, new nuts and bolts from Wright's oh, Tools. Yeah, look. look at them. Courtesy of Peter Wright, was they Cur free Peter from him? Wright. Free? No. coming on now Josh. Yeah, it looks nice coming now on. doesn't it yeah we like Josh he's always happy he's always happy unlike the other engineer Josh I know not really good enough no. though, is it? <sighs> and we can push that in now we've got that started and then this one should come out that hole there and that is that one on nice and secure that is looking loads better put in my new indicators oh 
Yes. Plug this one in. Two new indicators going on. Nice. One works. That one works. Look at them. Now it's time to tackle the tanks. Well, I've just tried to undo this one and that snapped off. That one there just keeps spinning, literally because of where they are, with all the spray underneath, they're rusted solid. So I'm just gonna cut through the straps. Not using them straps again, so. Perfect. Well, that is one way of doing that. We turn both of these taps off. Now there should just be the diesel that's in that pipe to come out. The piece of metal goes to the tank stays, not the tanks. That's just a breather, so we can get the forklift around now and get this one off. Yeah. Oh, look at that, Josh. Hey. hey. Woo -hoo. I love a bit of rust. I do. <laughs> I love rust. So Kyle is having these for his Volvo. He wants some lockers making out of them. There goes one tank. Do the same with this one, but this one we've got to take the sender out. So this basically, you just twist it and it pulls out, but we can't get enough twist on it because these are too tight. So what we're going to do, oop, we're going to disconnect these. Oop, a little bit diesel, not too much. And should we to twist this? Oh, there we go. And there's your sender. So this little bit here, must raise up and lower and that's where it detects how much fuel you got in your tank and then that bit is what sucks your fuel through maybe something like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> now we've got this big tank off we can get to these How are we looking, Josh? Too bad, not too bad, we're about a quarter full. I need these plastic inserts off here to put in my new ones. As you can see, these are rusted up and I can't get on there. Gonna have to use the grinder. Gotcha. Oh, wrong way round, Tim. Look what way I've just put that on there. In there. So that's the front ones all fitted up. Got the plastic inserts in on both sides. Now we need to get all these straps off. I've just tried taking that one out, but it's going nowhere. So we're going to go back to the good old angle grinder and go. screwdriver in there, bend that. That is how them straps are coming off. Over in the scrap pile. Look at all this. Oh, look at that. That is mud that is collected up between the tank stays and the tank over the years. Take this bracket off, don't need that anymore. That's what the height adjustable fifth wheel controls are on. Push them in there. So satisfying. Lovely job. I've finished for the day, Josh. You like my new fuel cap? Oh, I like that. A couple of gloves and some cable ties there. Now, shall we see if it starts after we've yeah. been messing around with the fuel Hopefully sender? Hopefully won't airlock yourself up. Let's hope not. weird we know i've like just got that little tank now not two massive long ones each side i've now got more fuel value for I've your got money half a tank now we're <laughs> only had a quarter before i started <laughs> waiting on you guys now yeah 
Mm-hmm. He's in very soon. Put some sort of change over in there then. Yeah. So we can divert it that way. Yeah, to the side there. as well, yeah. And then straight up. And then straight up through the stacks, through which the stacks, you are yeah. going to fabricate. Yes. Love this truck. It's gonna look so good. Mrs. Trucker Tim is gonna be so happy. So you see this? John Warby was telling me they feared these to make them Euro 3 to go into London when it was Euro 3. It's half a six euros ago. He said now, he said I can uh, disconnect all that if I want. But I thought I might have an issue if I unplugged that. I just want to get it in there now. Oh yeah. Give me a right. If you're watching this, you need to get it in. <laughs> get the old fabrication work started. There's the tanks. Hey Kyle, see that we haven't damaged them or anything whatsoever. Hey, Kyle. I'll send him a hey, picture Kyle. of them, he'll like them. When you're coming down to get them? Yeah, <laughs> want them out the yard, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he wants you to make them into lockers before they go. Oh, more fabrication more work fabrication then. More fabrication work, you see? Lovely. There we go, all the parts are on the truck, Josh. Yeah, that and that's all the stuff that came off the truck. All, scrap. all old plastics, all scrap, really. Yeah. Yeah, nothing worth keeping there. We need to do a big order of steel. Yeah, steel, yeah. Big Materials. order of steel, Alley. Yeah. Alley. Yeah, alley, stainless steel, all different things like that, yeah, so. Get all that sorted. It'll be delivered then. Then fabrication can start. Yeah, exciting. Very. Cheers, Josh. Here she is, Helen, your rig. Yeah. Brought Mrs. Trucker Tim down to have a little look at her. Are you working on it? I have been. I've been really, really busy. Well, to be honest, it looks worse rather than better. Why is it missing so many bits? Well, let me talk you through it. Why is the fuel tank ratchet strapped on? There your old tanks over there, look, stacked up. Well, I probably need that much fuel. Well, where are you going, Helen? <laughs> we had new plastics. This is all new. A new braquette. Did you fit that yourself? I fitted that myself. Did and, you? and new spray depression. New what? Spray suppression. I have removed. Oh, we're going this way. Yeah, we're going this way. Fuel tank. Yeah, I can see that there was something missing. They need to come off, but yeah. Mm -hmm. There isn't going to be anything there. That's just going to be an empty space. What? Just going to be an empty space. Why aren't I having a fuel tank back on it? That's your fuel tank. That's not staying, we'll surely. Look, yeah, we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. New plastics here. Beautiful. Look at them. I thought I was having like skirting yeah, things on it. Come. Jeez. These things don't happen overnight, dear. New flaps. Yeah, lovely. Brand new flaps for you, Helen. My tyres have got a lot of stones in. I think I need new ones. You don't need new tyres because they've got stones in. You get a screwdriver and you. Right. I've been in contact with my friends at Tire Tracks. Yeah. About getting you some Durabrites, dear. Cool. So you're going to have super singles on the front. That's what I always wanted. Don't be rude. You're going to have Durabrites on here. Yep. Will that make my driving any better? Probably not. Fuel cap? Mm. I'll get you one of them. I hate doing fuel. You'll have to do that. You, you won't fuel up a car, so you ain't going to fuel up this, are you? No. Look at your exhaust. Where is my exhaust? It's, there's a part missing. I had to cut that out to get that old bracket out because that bit goes through that hole. Kyle wants those fuel tanks. So hang on a minute. Gonna make you're giving Kyle my fuel tanks and you're giving me this tub? Uh, yes. What? These brackets need to be changed because this has got to go in and down. I'm just looking forward to it being purple. Am I allowed some pictures and stuff on it? Pictures? Yeah. Jack. Oh, you need a... Who's Jack? Botanic. No. Jack. Come back, Jack. No, not that, no. Jack. No, it weren't up, was it? Jack. He was going down. This is your engine under there. This is nice. Hmm. Where does your window screen washer fluid go, Helen, in here? Well, it normally has a picture. Like, mm -hmm. car ones normally have a picture. Oh, look around. Ooh. There. Oh, wow. Well done. When it's all fabricated up, we're going to take it to Darren. He's going to fill in any imperfections and give him a bit of a paint and then straight to global signs for the wrap. I'm so, so excited for that. Oh, Jinx. Me too. Can and I have, like, these, you've got Trucker you Tim at the those... top of yours. Can I have Mrs. Trucker Tim at the top yeah. of mine? Yeah. Like can. purple right across and. across the headboard. Yeah, yeah, like the same as you. Yeah. But mine's purple mm -hmm. and black. Exciting times, Helen. I didn't show you your new brackets. Oh. Look. Oh, yeah, look. That was all rusted away. And did you do that, that yourself? Was all rusted. And this one was all rusted. There's rust like falling out the bottom there. But I've replaced that. Oh yeah, look, they're all nice and new. Yeah, and that for you. 
Well done. That's coming off. Wherever you're having a big old age. Do I get new Susie's? Yep, yeah, new Susie's. That's coming off. Yeah. I could have done that actually. I need to do that as well. That's coming off, and you're having a big A frame there, up to about here, then go up like that, and then you stacks, eight inch stacks you're having, they'll be like, Ooh. <laughs> like, like that. And a big picture of Jack on the back. No. I need to find out how I'm going to do a visor. They don't do a visor for these, but I'm thinking we might be able to fabricate one somehow. 